This is a homemade TV antenna I made to mimic one of these flat panel TV antennas. And today we're going to make one and test it out and see how it performs. The first thing I did was cut out a piece of cardboard that is just a little bigger than this Mohu leaf antenna I found at a thrift store recently. This is even the same color as the Mohu box. Next, you want to prepare the wire or cable you're going to use. If you're using a piece of coaxial cable, you'll need a piece with a connector on one end. The other end, you're going to carefully strip away the outer jacket and do this without cutting away the braided shielding. Take your time here. And then carefully peel back the braided shielding and twist it together to form one single piece of wire. And then carefully cut away the plastic dielectric insulation that exposes the center conductor. I used a coaxial cable stripping tool that I have, but if you don't have one of these, you could carefully use a knife to peel away that insulation and expose the center wire. And then after that, all you're going to do is fold each wire down into a Y shape. Now, if you don't have a piece of coaxial cable, you could use a piece of the old style twin lead antenna wire, or you could also just use a piece of speaker wire, but you're going to need an adapter if you choose these options. One of these push on RF transformers can convert a piece of speaker wire and make it compatible with a piece of coaxial cable using one of these couplers. Just screw the two leads to the screws on the transformer and then press the coupler in and you have a conversion from speaker wire to coaxial cable that can be plugged into your TV or digital converter box. And once you have the wire prepared, just take a couple of pieces of tin foil that are the same size and glue them to the cardboard. Try to center them. Make sure that they are not touching each other Put about three quarters of an inch gap between the two of them and glue them down flat. And next you're going to use some clear packing tape to carefully tape the wires down to the elements. Make sure that the wires are not touching. Tape them down firmly and then use some tape to secure the coaxial cable to the bottom of the cardboard. And now this antenna is complete and ready to be used. And we're going to test it against the Mohu Leaf and see which one can produce the greatest signal strength. So let's just talk quickly about my choice of element design. With these flat panel antennas, it's really tough to know what shape or design of elements is used inside because most of them are not transparent. But I think it might be something like this, one of these designs. But again, it's hard to tell. My thoughts were here, besides keeping this design as simple as possible, that the more surface area my elements have, the more signal they'll pick up and the better overall the reception will be. So to test these antennas, I mounted them in the exact same spot on a wall in my garage that faces the direction of my local broadcast towers. I tested them one at a time and took a signal strength reading. Let's see the results. And today we're going to take signal readings on the only channel I can receive indoors, RF channel 9, which broadcasts on the high VHF band. And as far as signal strengths go, the signal strength with the homemade antenna was anywhere from the mid to high 70s, even touching into the 80s at times. And the signal strength with the Mohu Leaf was anywhere from the high 60s into the mid 70s. So I would say this little experiment was a success. And just to be clear, I'm not bashing Mohu Leaf here. I think they make very good quality indoor TV antennas. And I actually purchased another one of their models, which I will be using in an upcoming video. Final conclusions, you don't have to spend a bunch of money to have a TV antenna that works well. And the other thing is, I think that this little experiment also proves the point that a TV antenna is really a simple device. It's just a piece of metal or wire that's designed to receive RF frequencies. 
Now, since this antenna works so well to receive channel 9 on the VHF band indoors, I think it would also work very well for UHF channels 14 through 36. And this also proves the point that a TV antenna does not have to be some kind of special HD 4K 8K next-gen design. TV antennas are really simple devices.